Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about bidirectional shift register. Bidirectional shift register. The meaning of this bidirectional is the data can be shifted in both right side and as well as left side. Okay. That means one top meant for two different operations. This shift register. is used to shift the data from left to right or from right to left or from right to left. This shift register is used to shift the data from left to right and as well as right to left how a single shift register will perform both the operations it has a pin called right by left bar it has a pin called right by left bar so whenever right by left bar pin is equal to zero left shift operation is performed and when this pin right by left bar is equal to 1, right shift operation is performed. Okay. Suppose if right by left bar is equal to 1 means R is equal to 1 and L bar is equal to 1. L bar is equal to 1 means L is equal to 0. That means left operation is not performed. Which is active here? R. That means right shift operation is right shift operation is performed and if r by l bar is equal to 0 that means r is equal to 0 which is inactive and l bar is equal to 0 means l equal to 1 then left shift operation is performed left shift operation is performed so r by l bar is equal to 1 or r by l bar is equal to 0 this is the main pin which controls the entire operation shifting operation from left to right or left uh, right to left and another important point is we have discussed four different types of shift register serial in serial out serial in parallel out parallel in serial out and parallel in parallel out out of all these four which type of shift register it is that may that you may have a doubt in bidirectional shift register the data will be shifted serially see here the data let us consider a four bit shift register the data which enters serial in serial in here that will be shifted in this direction and getting the output serially serial out and one more input the data can be giving input from the right hand side this is serial in and data will be shifted in the left side direction and we are taking the output this is serial out okay that means in bidirectional shift register the data enters serially and then leaves serially in bidirectional shift register the data enters serially and leaves serially depending upon the type of the uh, shifting the data may be shifted right side direction or it may be shifted left side direction so in bidirectional shift register in bidirectional shift register the type of shift register the type of shift register is what is that serial in serial out shift register okay now let us see the logic diagram of this particular shift register see this is the logic diagram of logic diagram of bidirectional shift register bidirectional shift register see the operation is very simple but it looks somewhat bigger because in order to perform both the right shift and left shift operations, we need additional circuitry like AND gates followed by OR gate. Every flip-flop is having two AND gates and one OR gate. Two AND gates and one OR gate. That's why 
8 AND gates and 4 OR gates are needed. So the purpose of 2 AND gates is to select either of the operations uh, right shift or left shift. Okay, like your previous example. In the previous case, we have seen <coughs> parallel in serial out, parallel in serial out shift register. There also we have done the same operation. Data loading operation is done and data shifting operation is also done there. Here also we are using the same concept. See here, this is the serial data input. This is the serial data input which is given to all the flip, uh, to the first flip flop and as well as to the last flip flop. Observe clearly where the lines are going. Data input is given here to the G1 because it may be giving serially from the left hand side or it may be giving serially from the right hand side. Right hand side means here. See where it is connected. Again, D in is connected here. D in. Here, D in. To the last will flow. To the last will flow. That is what we have discussed. The data may be entered from the left hand side or may be entered from the right hand side. Okay. So that's why it is connected to the first uh, first AND gate and again it is connected to the last AND gate. And coming to the right or left bar pin, right or left bar pin for all the G1, G2, G3, G4 AND gates, we are giving the right shift operation. We are giving the right shift operation that means true form. All the true pins are connected to G1, G2, G3, G4. And all the complement pins for the right and left bar are connected to G5, G6, G7 and G8. Okay, consider a case re, uh, right by left bar is equal to 0. Right by left bar is equal to 0. That means what happens now which gates are activated? So let us consider the name activated. Because if one input of the under gate is 0, irrespective of the other input, output is simply 0. That means we can say that under gate is deactivated. Okay, so this pin is equal to 0 means this is 0, here it is 1, here it is 0. That means right operation is not performed because G1 is deactivated, G2 is deactivated, G3 and G4 are deactivated. So when right by left bar is equal to 0, G1, G2, G3 and G4 or deactivated g1 g2 g3 g4 are deactivated so simply their outputs are zeros their outputs are zeros their outputs are zeros okay and what about the other pin and this particular pin is equal to zero that makes the Inverting operation here because of this inverter. So one this one is connected to G5 G6 G7 G8. So G5 G6 G7 and G8 are G5 G6 G7 G8 are activated activated and they simply they simply transfer whatever appears on other input okay see here i said g5 is activated what is the other input appearing on this and gate which is nothing but output of the next flip-flop this is q2 and here it is q3 and here it is uh, q4 where it is q4 this is q4 and here it is dn okay so then first clock operation is performed during this right or left bar is equal to 0 after a clock pulse after a clock pulse so what happens output will be q2 q3 q4 dn previously it was Previously, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So what happens now? The data is shifted from the, uh, from right to left. So left side operation is performed here. Left shifting operation is performed and data enters from the right hand side. Again, for the one more clock pulse, it will be Q3, Q4, 
for d in again one more d in this is what the left shift operation is performing when this particular operation is considered hope you understand and similarly go to the r by l bar is equal to 1 then right shift operation needs to be performed right shift operation right shift operation let us consider how the right shift operation is performed same d in is connected at the same positions and when this pin is equal to 1 this becomes 0 and this is 1 that makes what happens all the 0 connected and gates are deactivated and 1 connected and gates are activated so g1 g2 g3 so g1 g2 g3 and g4 are activated they simply transfer whatever other input of the AND gate and what about the G4, G5, G6, G7 and G8 they are deactivated deactivated means uh, their outputs are simply zeros their outputs are zeros okay so what is the appearing input from the g1 g1 is having d input okay and here it is connected with q1 here it is connected to q2 here it is connected to q3 okay so what happens after first clock pulse d1 will be moved to the output of the first flip flop and q1 will be moved to the here q2 place and q2 will be moved to q3 place and q3 will be moved to q4 place so after a clock pulse after a clock pulse so what happens first initially previously it was q uh, q1 q2 q3 q4 after a clock pulse d in q1 q2 q3 again one more this is for first clock pulse second clock pulse d in d in q1 q2 so data will be shifting right side shifting right side this is what the right shift operation and left shift operation performing in only one logic circuit okay that's why it is known as bidirectional shift register 